Hello, Canvas family. We are here with uh, Vince and Stephanie, and this is We Are Canvas. We're here to talk a little bit today about community involvement. Um, and what you might not see right now is Malcolm is hiding in the corner <laughs> because he didn't want to be on screen. So we're going to pick on him just for that. So uh, in all seriousness, though, what is community involvement to people that this is maybe the first time they're ever seeing We Are Canvas? I always think it's important that we let people know what your department does. Yeah, Steph, you want to go first? Yeah, so um, community involvement is really what it sounds like. We're really out in the communities, getting involved in those communities, volunteering, teaching financial education, doing as much as we can in the communities. Um, we give our employees, our full-time employees, 12 paid hours for going out to volunteer, um, six paid hours to our part-time employees. Um, we have an annual kickoff for kids campaign that's going on. I might be rambling, sorry. Can no, this is wonderful. Over? No, you're good. No, there will be no starting over. Uh, <laughs> so why, uh, why is that important? Why do we give hours to our Canvas family to go out into the community? Vincent, I'm gonna pick on you. Yeah, yeah, okay. absolutely. So, you know, part of our mission is to be known for our hearts and to be leaders in our communities. And one of the ways we think is important for that to happen is to give our employees those volunteer hours. Okay. We really want them to, to volunteer wherever they're passionate about and we have our four pillars that we focus on. So those volunteer opportunities Stephanie talked about, they'll, they'll usually revolve around schools, families, military, or first responders. But anything they're interested in, animals, we get a lot. Yes. Uh, we, want, we want our CanFam to go out and volunteer and do those things. So you brought up a really good point, something I want to ask about. We get, so I'm on the people team, and we get questions like, oh, I want to, why doesn't Canvas do this? Why doesn't Canvas do that? Why does it benefit us to only have only have four pillars yeah the the short answer is we want to make a bigger impact in certain areas and we decided years ago that those were areas that we felt were critical to almost any community mm -hmm. that those are things that were kind of universally loved and supported so that's what we wanted to try and narrow our focus on just again so we can make those bigger impacts okay. instead of just little incremental impacts okay so. Um, anything, uh, do, do we, do we advocate for anything political or anything controversial? We try to stay away from okay. those. <laughs> we try to stay away from all of those kind of things. Um, we really just want to focus on our four pillars. Um, as Vincent mentioned, we do have, you know, our fit canvas family who do want to volunteer for animal shelters and do some things with animals. Um, we just don't advertise that just because it's not part of one of our four pillars. Sure. And you can find all of our volunteer opportunities listed in our weekly Oracle every Thursday. Boom, love it. And where else might someone find opportunities? On our ICANN calendar. Thank you. Yes, yeah. always on the ICANN. Okay, so talk to us a little bit about some of the things that are coming up that we're excited about. Yeah, so Stephanie mentioned Kickoff for Kids. You want to talk more about that first? Yeah, so we have our annual Kickoff for Kids campaign. Um, every year we partner with Children's Hospital to raise and donate funds for families in need, their patients and families in need. Um, we collect funds through the over the phones, through the comm center, um, in our branches and in the drive up. Our branches actually have a little bit more fun because they get to sell footballs to our members um, and they get to actually get a chance to win football or Bronco tickets to a Broncos game. That's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hence uh, the kickoff. It's kids, right? actually <laughs> now through September 17th. Okay. Awesome. Wonderful. What else? What else is going on? Hero Fest. All Hero right. Fest is, is, that's a passion project for me. Yeah. So we have a fantastic planning committee. This helped work out the details, and, and some people have probably heard this already, uh, but the big news is we're having two. Uh, this will be our first year for having a location in Fort Collins, so in northern Colorado, and that's going to be Saturday, October 1st uh, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Front Ridge Village Shopping Center. And then the following week will be our, our more traditional Hero Fest that takes place in Aurora at Town Center at Aurora, and that will be Saturday, October 8th from noon to 4 p.m., a little bit later in the day this year. Um, we want our can fam, if they haven't been to one before, we want them to come They're out and amazing. experience it so much uh, for themselves. Yeah. But if you want to volunteer, there's opportunities there as well. So just get in touch with me. We try to do it in two hour blocks, um, or you can choose to volunteer for the whole day if you want. But those events, if you're not familiar with Hero Fest, it's our way of celebrating Colorado first responders, and we bring them together with our local communities, specifically kids with young, or families, kids with young families, families <laughs> with young kids, uh, because we have emergency vehicles out there for them to oh, have so much fun. Inflatables, the Colorado Avalanche come out, we have a helicopter landing. The biggest news I want to mention quickly, um, this year the Aurora Police Department is a true partner, 
and they've committed uh, a lot of their budget to help us with this. So all the food from the food trucks, 100% free. So pretty awesome. It's amazing. Uh, we want folks to come out and enjoy it and to help us celebrate those first responders and let them know how important they are. Yeah, I still remember a few years back we had, um, we brought our, we have young kids, families with young kids, kids with young families, I like that. <laughs> uh, and there was like the um, bomb squad robot yeah. and like the uh, police dog. They were just talking about that. So, mm -hmm. uh, and it was like three, that was like three or four years ago, three years ago, I think. And uh, so yeah, great opportunity to create some memories and support our first responders. They're busy folks and, and do really, really important work here in Colorado. So Indeed they do. Awesome. Um, anything else you want to share? That's it from our end. Okay, cool. Well, thank you for all that you do. Um, our community involvement department is one of the most special things about Canvas and how we give back to the community. And this was Stephanie's first time on We Are Canvas. So nicely done. <laughs> really thank appreciate you. it. And thank you, Canvas family, for tuning in.